All right, here we go, guys. The 2020 New York Boat Show, January 2020 uh, in Frigid, New York. Here I am walking towards uh, the Javits Center. And I'm meeting my buddy, Costi. You've seen him on a couple of other videos. Um, uh, he's holding, you'll see, a captain's book. He's going to take his captain's uh, course this winter. Um, and we're going to go through some boats. We're going to start, actually, with, uh, with a Minn Kota product, and then we're going to move on to boats. And, you know, as we were filming the videos, what we realized was dang boats got expensive and the mission slowly became not just to film some cool boats but to find an affordable boat that an every man can buy new um i don't know how we did but uh, boy the the price of boats sure got expensive real fast hope you enjoy as always leave a comment uh like if you like it and if you're not already a subscriber and you like this content please subscribe Hi, I'm Kevin Conroy. I'm here with Johnson Outdoors and the Makota brand, and we're here talking about the 60-inch uh, Altera, which also comes in a 72-inch model, as well as some smaller versions. This boat comes with a uh, auto stow and deploy feature, which we'll demonstrate here. This is going to be a really nice feature for those cabin style boats, maybe a Parker, a Steigercraft, one, uh, one of those boats like that, or even a center console where you don't want to be running back and forth to the uh, bow. You can just deploy it right off the remote, right off your Humbird fish finder, and it's as easy as that. Yeah, so that's, I guess, the big difference between what I have. I have the Taroba model and the Altera is that, that really cool self-deploy feature. And what did, what do these retail for, Kevin? So this will uh, roughly run you between 2500 and 3500 depending on your model, thrust, length of shaft. But we uh, make them for boats up to about 30, 35 feet. So I guarantee we probably Does it come in 87 inch or 72 is top on this one? 72 inch only. You'll have to jump to the uh, Tarova series right. to the 87 inch. And, okay. Uh, that will take care of that. Cool. Very cool. I'd never seen this in action. I get it now. That was very cool. Can we do one more shot of it? Uh, so we'll do the uh, stow feature right here. Or you can go through, go. Very cool. And there's my buddy Costi. He's got a Steiger. And uh, so if you see actually there's a pro we have a 25 Steiger. Yes. What, 1989? 86. 86, geez. Modified V. Modified V. Yeah. I've been in it once. We went shark fishing. We caught that big blue shark. Yeah. Um, so this is the Deep V Chesapeake. And Costi just explained, he's a Steiger aficionado, that the difference between the 25 Miami and the 25 Chesapeake is the Chesapeake has the door and the Miami has an open back. That's all style preference. Why don't we jump on this and sure. take a quick look? Caught my eye is the second station. Very nice. Looks a little narrower than I mine. Well, you're talking eight and a half foot beam here. Mine's almost ten. Well, and you're on a twenty-eight. That's a ten foot beam. This is eight. this is still trailerable. This is not all right. trailerable. So, so Legally trailerable. Well, <laughs> yeah. you, you can trailer anything. <laughs> Twin one uh, fifties. I used to trail with boats. I do everything. I really like the second station. This is obviously an add-on. This doesn't come standard, right? It's a Five thousand uh, dollar add-on. That's not bad. I mean, the ability to, to steer from the outside well, the if you're docking, if you're, if you're power trolling. And you you have a fish on. Now you can control the boat while you're still holding the rod in your hand right. instead of going inside a cabin, which makes it a little difficult when it's a cabin. And it's a it's a pretty. Not a big step down to get in. No, it's not like the partner. Yeah. And look at this. You got a nice bench here, battery switch here. Nice little cabin. You got a toilet there too. Not bad. Not bad. And I basically put angle on both sides. Not bad. And what was the sticker on this? 123? Uh, yeah, I think that's what it was. Is that the boat show price, or if we talk to Al, we can get a... Uh... Al, Al will give a boat away if he has, if he has to. Well, you guys sponsor every year the fishermen. Uh, my buddy Garrett won the 23-foot the this year. And as we were stepping off the boat, I realized the boat was 136000 no trailer. And look, it's what the market uh, drives, and the market is clearly on fire right now for new boats and used boats. Um, but this was the first inkling that, boy, is, is there really an affordable boat here, a uh, boat for the everyman. And uh, let's continue our search. And what's your name? Jerry. Jerry, nice to meet you. I'm John. 
And this is a 272, right? Is that what it's called? That's good. That's what it is. All right. Yeah, I mean, here we yeah. are. We're stepping aboard Blackfin 272. This is one of the most high tech boats. I mean, look at this dash joystick controls, blacked out dash. The shortened version here. Yeah. We'll start up front. Jerry, let's go. I'm following you. Just over belt. Okay, so you Very got nice. a, a hose windless. bib with the windlass. Yep, I see okay. it. A hose to wash it down. Right. Cleat in there. And you also see the stainless steel gas pistons. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this this boat looks like it was just built using top shelf everything. Listen to that hatch close. Jeez. Okay. You got storage under under here. Under here. There's a table that goes here. You got storage under here. Okay, here you got. You can use that for a cooler if you want. Yeah. Because it's going to be insulated. Yeah. Okay. And again, it's on the gas assist strut, huh? Yeah. No. No, no, one. that's a hinge. Right. Okay. It's a friction hinge. Yep. And then when you back up here, oh, then you got your monogram, the heavy-duty monogram. It'll look like eight inch. Three. Yeah. I mean, just that don't that'll yeah. never rattle. Yeah. Okay. Then there it goes. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that's my fault. I, I put that there. Okay. A nice head compartment. Oh, it smells new too. Yeah. <laughs> you can almost smell the gel coat. Yep. Completely finished. No exposed anything. Okay. And I'm six feet tall. Let's see how how I do down here. And yeah, can completely stand. Got about four inches above. Okay. Very nice. And you got the batteries here too. The battery switches here. Right. Little port access. You got room to work on your electronics here. Okay, then then you, you just look at this glass. Yeah. I really like the black uh, the black dash. Okay. You'll never have an issue with glare. Grab the, so, the handles. Okay. I'm and almost afraid is, to ask. Got the yeah. Those are 300, uh, the Mark V8s? 250s? The V8s though, yeah. I believe. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, those are the new Mercs. They, the okay. fuel economy on them is unreal. Okay. Look at this, dude. Dude, this, this is... This one doesn't this. come with electronics. Right? Yeah, no. Okay. They, they opted right now to keep the price down in case somebody wanted to put their own in. Yeah, so Jerry, what is the price, out of curiosity? I think on the, what's getting ready for my Elizabeth moment here. It's a Sanford and Sunrise. So 198. That's the sale price here. Yeah, the MSRP is 242. But I mean, you understand why yeah, this, this is a lot more. This is if somebody has the coin and they want everything. And I believe that window looks like it goes up and down. So you're dealing with it, it, it opens. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, this, this looks is, like enormous access to your 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 pumps and yeah, hatches yeah, and yeah. Jerry don't don't go crazy. You can see. Wow, is, look at that. There's your access. That's that's amazing access. You it's could you could fit a it's whole it's human a, being down there. Well, not only that, it's all gel coated. There's no. Yeah, yeah, it's completely it's finished. And look at the live well. Yep, thirty gallon. Of, uh, and I like the aquarium look. It's uh. Well, that's to keep the fish fresh. Look at that. So this was uh, really the first sticker shock priced boat, uh, 27 foot center council, albeit a ridiculously beautiful one. I mean, top notch uh, fit and finish throughout. And, you know, that takes time. Um, and we'll, we'll see an example of maybe not so great fit and finish later in the video. But yeah, this one came in at almost 200,000 for a uh, 27 foot boat uh, with no electronics included. You might have heard Jerry say they've kept the price down so you can add your own electronics. Um, so yeah, let, let, let's continue the boat hunt. We're, we're still looking for that affordable fishing boat. This is my, for my buddy Anthony Rich. Uh, this, if money was not an object, yellow yeah. fin, there is no, I mean, and from the, the, the lines on it, the sheer line in the front, I mean, this is completely and it's, absolutely it's, it's got yeah let's put our bag down and it's a 36 obviously yeah. wow i mean so um i don't know the sequence we're going to show it but we were just on the black fin 
and that was a beautiful boat. But we were talking with the sales guys right after that and talking about the fact that it's not a real fishing boat, and it is, but, uh, you know, just cramped a lot of amenities. This is the opposite. Even with the forward seating, Jesus, I mean, you have so much room here. I mean, just a beautiful boat. This is what people dream about, owning a yellow fin. Holy cow. And here's another aquarium live well. Yeah, yeah. What do we got? We probably have more live wells under here. Not that I know how to open them. We don't want to break it. Yep. This has got to be 60. 60 gallons, you think, back here? 80? Wow. Yeah. So there's, there's absolutely no sexier boat on the water. I mean, you see one of these coming. That sheer line in the front is just unmistakable. It's a beautiful boat. All right. Enough of that. What do we got next? This is a World Cat. 29, 295cc. So this is the first cat we're looking at, twin Yamaha 300s. Look at this boarding. Nice size live well. 50 gallons, I'd say. Yep. Gas is, gas is it struts. There's another one with joysticks. And what sets apart, sets apart cats besides the ride is just how far the beam goes forward. I mean, this boat in the bow is wider than any monohull. Unfortunately, again, not designed for fishing, but a beautiful boat nonetheless. Full windshield wrap around. I mean, fishable, but not. Yeah, yeah, definitely perfect. fishable. Perfect for, you know, if you're fluking though and you got four guys and you got to fish on one side, you're, you're limited. And here, so what's interesting though with all cats, right? What's under us? Nothing, right? It's the sponsoons are on the side, so you get a much smaller head. I mean, okay, this is... Me. Yeah, jump in, Steve. It's, it's, How tall are you? 5'8", 5'9"? 5'9". 5'9". It looks like it's only used for, uh, you know, sitting. Yeah. So, but the trade-off, Costi, is the ride. I, I you know, I, I chartered a, a Freeman in the Keys a couple years ago, and the ride on these cats is unreal. Yeah. But yeah, there, there are trade-offs like every other boat. Um, personally, again, I would prefer a more open, open, open area. Sure. This, this is, is, this is, this is plenty of room without like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, seat. yeah. I mean, again, this is set up for family cruising, but back here, you do have the fishing amenities. You have the joystick control. You, I mean, it's a nice dash. I mean, it's a beautiful boat. Um, and the ride on these Costi is, is legendary. I mean, they're, yeah. they're supposed to blow everything out of the water in terms of ride. Another change of pace here. A Everglades, and I used to own an Everglades. I owned an Everglades 290 Pilot. That was two boats ago. An amazing riding boat. It's completely foam filled, never thumped. Uh, the most solid ride I ever had. This is actually a 273, which is a bay boat. This is a 27 foot bay boat with 500 horsepower. And you can see it's it's set up with casting platforms in the back. Um, th this is not, I mean, you can take this offshore, but this is designed for, you know, fishing the flats, fishing the, the back bays, yeah. casting. Um, I mean, it, it's unbelievable what they're doing. Well, wow. uh, like, probably too heavy to pole, but yeah. But I mean, uh, you know, another, and Everglades, one of the, the innovators in terms of the, the full windshields. Um, I had, like I said, the 290 Pilot, and you were, you were, you felt like you were in a Steiger, but you were in a in a center console. Just an amazing boat, and they ride great. They are completely. They don't use a a Stringer grid system. They fill the whole boat. The whole bottom of the boat is just film filled with foam, um, and it, it just has a solid ride. I'm curious what the price is on this. Do we have that anywhere? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, maybe not. You got it? Oh, I walked right by it. Yeah, boat show price 237420. Um, 
beautiful boat. And you can see it's a bay boat that weighs 6,400 pounds, holds 157 gallons of fuel. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Oh, look at those socks. That's what we want to show. Oh, yeah. That's pink socks. So it's a 41 regulator with quadruple 425 V8 Yamahas, the XTOs. Wow. Uh, this fish box is enormous. There's a live well. I mean, the room here is unbelievable. Look at this mezzanine seating. You're like three feet up. You sit back. You got a spread going. This is unreal. Unreal. You're like way up there. You're way up there. Look at the size of these uh, pipes. Oh yeah. Okay, I got big hands. I can't put my hands around it. Thank you. I mean, this is a. This is. I have to imagine one of the biggest offshore fishing boats in the Senate Council class here. Look at the helm here. Holy cow. Holy cow. Surprisingly yeah. small steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, look Joystick at controls. Look at the little twin digital shifters. I mean, look at throttles. your field of view for such a big boat. I know. It's, I know, you see you clearly. You may as well be on a 25. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at this. This. This is, look at the cabin, Costi. And unlike that world cat we saw with the three feet of headroom, I can barely, again, this is like eight feet of headroom in here. It's a couple feet above me. Flat screen TV, you got a berth here. Nice wood table. You got a completely separate head compartment, porcelain sink, shower. Where would I be on this boat on our way back from Montauk? I know where you'd be. You'd be in here. You did that on the Maycraft, which I don't know how you did it on that trip back. Or was it the Everglades on a really crappy sure. day? You spent the whole time in the in the head. Well, on the way back. I mean, I yeah. just sat there and passed out. No, it might have been the Maycraft. I don't, no, I don't think it was the Maycraft. It was definitely a Senate concert. It was the, okay. It was, it was the, the Everglades? Yeah. I mean, this is unbelievable. I know I keep saying that, but this is... This is ridiculous. You know what we gotta find? We gotta find like a, a a normal, like affordable boat too. Like something, something. Can we find like a like something in the low twenties that's under fifty grand? Yeah, no. under sixty. I doubt it. Boats are so expensive these days. I think, I think uh, Eastern maybe has one. That's maybe. Still, like, about a I mean, again, this is forty-one feet. I, I mean, this is almost running, this is almost pitcher to catcher uh, in baseball. That's how big this is. Oh, and it's got a Seakeeper standard. <laughs> so for those that don't know, Seakeeper is a gyro uh, device that in rocking seas, and this is a very aggressive deep V hull, will keep the boat from rolling. Uh, it actually stabilizes the boat so you can be in big seas, trip fishing, anchored, and you will not, you know, the boat will not rock. Amazing boat. Insane. Is there a price on this one? Um, yeah. I think it's, uh, oh, there it is. Huh? The only thing not big on this boat is the uh, the price. I'm gonna guess over a million. Uh, just shy. Just shy of a million. Nine hundred eighty thousand is the suggested retail. So you might get a discount. Maybe it'll be down to 820 uh, boat show special if they give you a little, little discount. But possibly, yeah, 980,000. And uh, this little striper, uh, 220 quota RI, mainly for the price. It's one of the most affordable boats we've seen here, under 80k. And I know again, um, it comes with a GPS. It comes with a, it looks like a lot of standard features. But hopefully, it shows. It's got a really aggressive front. I mean, this looks like it would. Uh, do a decent job breaking waves. Yeah, so it doesn't have the, the fancy chairs like a lot of the other brands do. The console's a little... But again, you, you're going to spend... Wow, I mean, 100000 plus or 77 I mean, the, the Evan Room might be e one e of the reasons, too. Either one's going to get you on the water fish. It is, it is. 
And this looks like it's removable. It's got a front entry door too. That's pretty nice for a 22 footer. Yeah, looks like it's got it. You want to jump in there? Sure, why not? I've been the guinea yes. pig more than once today. So again, um, little things that nobody will ever notice or care about, but it's not gel coat finished in here. It's um, and, and that's how I guess, that's what you got to do these days to keep the price down. Um, just not quite as finished as the other boat. It's got a porta potty instead of a real head. It's got this curtain hiding all the wiring. Again though, this will get you on the water and yeah, little little gap there, water will come in because he's uh, spotting all these things. But listen, but you know what? It'll get you on the water. It'll get you on the water and it's... And we really don't want to poo-poo on, on striper boats. Um, look, it's a lot cheaper than everything we had seen to this point, but the little gaps uh, where the, the front door closes, water was definitely going to get in. We did uh, look behind the curtain. It was a little bit of a spider's or a rat's nest back there. Um, so they, there's a reason some boats are more expensive than others. Uh, it, it does take time to finish the parts of the boat that you don't see. Will will it run the same? Will it handle the same? Of course, that has nothing to do with the handling characteristics of a boat. Um, and just, just one last thing with this striper, there's going to be a very dubious claim by the salesman uh, on the on the engine. It's coming up right now. Yeah, but probably over half a million. Um, and I said, can we find like a 20, low 20 center council for 60. I think that was the magic number. I don't think you can. Right. But this is probably as close. Yeah, this is pretty close. I mean, knock the trailer off. And I think this has a two so the, the 77 9 is with, uh, with yes. a trailer? Trailer, the canvas. Oh, okay. And, and the GPS. Right. Yeah. So, so you're getting a lot, actually. because it's a two. That's, yeah, it's actually right. It's a 225. I think it's an HO. The guy who printed these up, it's a 225 HO, which is uh, about another 40 horsepower. But yeah, it's still gonna be hard to get it down from 78 to it. Yeah, no, 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 understood, understood. Costi, what are we saying? We think we found a brand, and actually, they they are known for their really heavy, solid ride, Roballos. They are really heavy boats for their size. Here's a, here's an 18-footer with a 115 for 40. Here's a 20-footer with a 150 Yami for 53. So we're this is about as affordable as it gets at this show. And then a, a 230 with a 250, and I, that's got to be the digital. Um, we can see up there, 79. Um, includes all options as shown, plus five-year warranty. Yeah. Um, let's see what 80 gets you. Actually, do you want to see what 40 gets you? Want to look um, at the... Yeah, no? What do you want to see? What did we just come off? We just came off the 22. 22. We just so came this off... This is comparable. This is comparable. Oh, comparable. All right. You know, well, this is a 23, and this is the same price, oh, the basically. Same price. Right. Let's try the 18, 40350 and that includes a trailer and all options that are shown on the boat. So again, 18-footer, but I got to tell you, you know, a little low in the back, but a decent amount of room. Pretty wide boat for 18, don't you think? Comes with a little Garmin. Don't forget that last boat had the, uh, the first transit. Yeah, the false transom really did not do it for me. Um, that was the Striper 22. You know what, if you're new to boating, if you're just getting into it and looking for something. Listen, it's pretty wide considering. It's considering, so and it's heavy. Um, again, a 115, and I bet you this tops out in the, in the high 30s, low 40s, because it's a heavy hull. I mean, Costi, look how high the sides are. It has a forward, that's, that's actually. Shocking. Shocking is right on an 18 footer, a forward entry. Um, and again, um, little, a little, a little better. It kind of doesn't look like it was professionally done. Yeah. That is, that is not though the inside. Again, we're, we're, no, it is. It's that's uh, jump folders as well. It is, yeah. it's hard to tell. No, the other one was, uh, yeah. We're, guys, we're nitpicking here. Yeah, we're, no, we're, this guy's a perfectionist. I, th this, this is what keeps me sane when I'm looking at boats. Uh, but this is a nice feature on a little 18-footer. And you get a lot. I think this might be... Actually, I, I bet you that 20, that, uh, that 23 across the way for just under 80. Um, I do want to jump on that and take a quick look. Okay. Um, so this is now the 23 with a 250. This a digital 250 or mechanical? Do you know? That one. I can tell by looking at the binnacle. Yeah, that one's digital. It's digital, awesome. So this is actually a 
again, I prefer this layout to that striper. That striper was a nice boat, but for the same price, you got a little more room. This boat is wider too than that striper for sure. This kind of has that. Uh, yeah, this almost has like a bay boat uh, yeah. casting deck. Want to pull that down, see how it looks? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to you want to cast for stripers. This will do it. This has the the upgraded seating here too, the bolster seating, and you can sit. Um, so no electronics, that, stri that striper had electronics, but it does have the acrylic dash, little, little indents here to put your phone. Um, and this must have, if the 18 footer had, let's see the difference now, I got it here. Super easy to open, and this one has a little head. Um, again, nicely finished, step down. You wanna, yeah, you wanna test it again? The a, guinea pig. It's got a decent amount of room in comparison to the, uh, the last two. Uh, headroom, that is. Yeah. yeah. What did we say? 5'9? Yeah. Uh, you could almost stand in there. Yeah. It's probably 5'5 five, five or 5'6 five, a headroom. Listen, for its purpose, and I'm sure it'll uh, fulfill its purposes. Look how deep that is. Uh -huh. And it's on a friction hinge. That is really deep. Hold on. Let's. How deep this is. Holy cow, dude. This is my foot goes all the way down there. This is pretty deep. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one the uh damn. What? I'm gonna give this one the the best value we've seen so far award. What do you think? Listen, I'm not a professional boat connoisseur. You are a contractor. Well, whatever. I could notice things, but uh, <laughs> listen, we boat, we fish, and we have an opinion. Yeah. All right, awesome. And that's going to do it for this video. Uh, as I was waiting for Costi to finish using the restroom, uh, right by the restroom, all the way in the far corner, was this Tidewater 21-footer. Um, really, it, obviously, you can fish off it. It's a center council, but it was really designed more as a, a cruising boat with the family. This one was actually a 21-footer under 50K. So it... I guess there are some deals to be had. But yeah, it, it was a little shocking. I, I, I remember in the old days, we... We'd go to the boat show every year with my uncles and my dad, and uh, I remember my uncle bought a boat, a Rankin, in the early 80s uh, from the New York Boat Show, and, uh, you know, it, they were so much cheaper, and I get it. Inflation and the economy is good, and people want to buy boats, but... Um, I got to think that uh, used boat market is the way to go unless, you, you know, you, you, you have the means and some people do to, you know, spend two hundred, two hundred and fifty thousand for a, you know, a 27 to 30 foot new boat. Um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments section. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this content, I'd appreciate a subscribe.